me speak to them. Testing, 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 testing.
welcome to the graduations for St. Mary's University. We're pleased that we're able to gather and celebrate the achievements of our graduates who are present here today. We shall commence the proceedings with a service of thanksgiving, which can be found at page eight on the graduation program, following which there shall be the presentation of awards. I now invite Bishop Richard Moth to lead us in a service of thanksgiving. Just before our moment of prayer, can I, as the Chair of the Board of Governors here at the University, congratulate all of you who are graduating today on my own behalf and on behalf of everybody on the Board. This is a wonderful day for you and your families. And we begin our time together in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Please stand for our opening hymn. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and understanding was given me. I entreated, and the Spirit of Wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. Compared with her, I held riches as nothing. I reckoned no precious stone to be her equal, for compared with her, all gold is a pinch of sand, and beside her, silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health or beauty, preferred her to the light, since her radiance never sleeps. In her company all good things came to me, and at her hands incalculable wealth. All these delighted me, since wisdom brings them, though I did not then realize that she was their mother. What I learned diligently, I shall pass on liberally. I shall not conceal how she is, for she is to human beings an inexhaustible treasure, and those who acquire this win God's friendship, commended to him by the gifts of instruction. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. In a spirit of thanksgiving, we pray using the words that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, your blessing reaches to the ends of the earth, and we ask you today to look favorably upon all who are present, that we may always enjoy searching for truth and take delight in new discoveries. Help us to share our knowledge with gentle patience and endeavor always to bring the truth to others. Confirm us in your renewing spirit that we may walk together with you and with one another. We thank you for the gifts of wisdom, knowledge and friendship which we celebrate together. May everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your help, and reach perfection under your guidance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. now invite Caitlin Finn, Student Life President at St Mary's Student Union, to address the congregation. Before I begin, I, we, need a moment to take all of this in. It's 2024 and we have our very own Sport, Technology and Health Sciences Simmies about to become St Mary's alumni. I think this calls for an appropriate response. Could I ask you all to join me in congratulating this momentous achievement by making some noise? I am truly honoured to share in the intensity of emotions filling this cathedral today as you, the graduates, close this chapter of your life story. Parents, friends and family, you must be overwhelmed with emotion immense pride as well as a sense of wonder at where the time has gone. It may not seem like that long ago that these graduates started primary school. Of course, the time it has taken to get from reception to this graduation ceremony may seem like an eternity for the graduates and indeed some family members and friends as well. But graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a small part of the journey that is life. Everyone when growing up was asked the same question. What do you want to be when you grow up? My answer was a teacher from the age of four upwards. My brother's response was a builder, and I'm sure you all remember your standard replies from when you were a child. But each and every one of us has gotten the answer wrong every single time. Because asking what you want to be is not the same question as what you want to do. Now that you have earned your university degree, some of you will know exactly what field of work you want to go into, and some of you will have absolutely no idea, which is completely fine too. But much more important than what job you're going to have or what you're going to do is the idea of what kind of person you're going to be and what impact you're going to have on the world around you. Who you're going to be is a much deeper question than what you're going to do. And creating a response takes a great deal of reflection and a sense of self. For me, I wanted to be a teacher because I want to make a difference. A change maker is who I'm going to be. Reflect today on your answer and how it aligns with the person that you would like to be. 
Over the past few incredibly brief years, you have endured a great deal. Both individually and collectively, you have encountered various challenges. I like to envision you each as incomplete puzzles, gradually coming together through the people you've met, your unique experiences and struggles, the places you've been, and the opportunities that you have been granted. While your experiences at St. Mary's will all differ greatly, there were certain shared aspects, such as meals in the ref, those dreaded 9 a.m. lectures, all-nighters in the library, 4 a.m. submissions, and of course, the unexpected. And now, here you are, achieving what you set out to accomplish. Undoubtedly, there were moments when you all questioned whether it was possible, but you proved that you could. Now you are prepared to venture into the world and make a positive impact. In conclusion, I want to express my gratitude for everything you have contributed to St. Mary's during your time as students. You are now, you have been, and will forever remain a vital part of the vast and ever-growing Simi community. Lastly, I'd like to share a quote by Forbes Watson. No one can truly appreciate the beauty of flowers unless they appreciate the wild ones. My message is to embrace all the untamed aspects of your life, whether they be challenging relationships, personal struggles, or difficult days, because those wild elements are what make the garden bigger, bolder, and brighter. So take a deep breath and savour this moment, for it belongs to you. Kohar Jaskaktana, congratulations everyone. My Lord, University colleagues, friends and family, Graduates, welcome to St. Mary's graduation ceremony. I am Anthony McLaren and I have the honour to be Vice Chancellor of this university. Today's spring graduation is taking place in our university chapel. The chapel, ambitiously inspired by Albi Cathedral, with the remarkable stained glass windows designed in Chartres, will have been a familiar sight to you graduates throughout your time at St. Mary's as you walk across the piazza. Today we're celebrating your success within this exceptional building. On behalf of all the staff at St. Mary's University, academic and professional, I'd like to offer our warmest congratulations to the graduates receiving awards today. After the many years of study, commitment and perseverance, your hard work has led to the academic achievement recognized today. This marks a very proud day for you and your families and friends. As you celebrate today, it's a good time to look back and reflect on the journeys that led you to this point. From before you came to St. Mary's and during your time with us, think back to your years of academic work, your learning and how you improved and progressed up to the next levels of study, the encouragement you received from your friends and families, your tutors, and of course, and perhaps most importantly, your fellow students. Think back to your other activities, perhaps one of the sports for which St. Mary's is renowned volunteering, service learning, work placements. Graduates, your presence today indicates very visibly your strength, determination, and resilience. But we're also resilient collectively as a university community. And this is also a time to acknowledge and celebrate those collective successes for St. Mary's. So join me for a moment in looking back over the past year at some of the outstanding achievements of which we all, in our diverse ways, have played a part. Let me start with our excellent results in the Graduate Outcomes Survey published last year, which told us that over 84% of our graduate leavers went into highly skilled employment or further study, outperforming both the London and sector-wide sector -wide averages for this indicator. In the most recent National Student Survey, the NSS, the results of August 2023 saw another very strong performance in the scores, with undergraduates giving a positivity rating of 88% for teaching at St. Mary's and 89% for academic support. That places St. Mary's as 11th among all universities nationally and second in London. The Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2024 saw the university climb again another six places from 51st in 2023 to our highest ever position of 45th place nationally and 8th in London. The Times ranking places St. Mary's 5th nationally, 
for teaching quality and seventh for student experience and in the top two universities in London for both teaching quality and the wider student experience. And then finally, most recently, our excellent teaching excellence framework outcomes with silver for student outcomes and gold for student experience. This year, we also celebrated the launch of our new undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in computer science and the launch of St. Mary's Online, a global platform for our courses, and the first students for St. Mary's Online have just begun their programs. Phase two of our student heart social building is well on the way to completion, and later this year we will embark on the construction of a brand new teaching block near the sports. Next year, there's going to be a particular focus for our celebrations, because 2025 will mark the 175th anniversary of the foundation of St. Mary's in 1850, and the centenary of our move to Strawberry Hill in 1925. We will hold celebrations throughout 2025 in a spirit of thanksgiving for all we've received over the years and in hope for all that's to be achieved in the future. We hope also to see many of you back on campus. Do keep in touch through our Alumni Association. So as you graduate today and take your place in the wider community beyond St. Mary's, there is so much of which you can feel proud. We're sure that as Sumerian ambassadors, you will continue to embody our values of inclusiveness, generosity of spirit, respect, and excellence. Most of all, be proud of your achievement. I can assure you, we are proud of you. Once again, I offer my most sincere congratulations to everyone graduating today. On behalf of all the staff here at St. Mary's, I'd like to wish you a most enjoyable and memorable occasion. And now we move to the formal presentation of degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit all those present and in absentia to the awards listed in the programme. I now invite Elaine Mullally, Head of School of Allied Health and Life Sciences, to commence the presentation of the candidates from the Faculty of Sport, Technology and Health Sciences. I present the following candidates from the Faculty of Sport, Technology and Health Sciences, School of Allied Health and Life Sciences, for the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Health, thesis title, Genotype-Based Diet and Physical Activity Advice, Effects on Behaviour Change to Reduce Risk Factors for Cardiometabolic Disease, Amy King. Thesis title, The Influence of Common Genetic Variations on the Acute and Long-Term Effects of Caffeine on Cognitive Performance, Angie Capello. This concludes the presentation of the PhD awards. I present the following candidates from the Faculty of Sport Technology and Health Sciences, School of Allied Health and Life Sciences for the awards of Master of Research in Sport, Health and Applied Science. Rayan Abbasi. Sershin Chin. This concludes the presentation of the Master of Research Award. I present the following candidates from the School of Allied Health and Life Sciences for the awards of Master of Science in Physiotherapy, Master of Science and Postgraduate Diploma in Sport Rehabilitation, Master of Science and Postgraduate Certificate in Psychology Conversion, 
Master of Science and Postgraduate Certificate in Psychology of Mental Health, Master of Science in Public Health, Master of Science in Nutrition and Genetics, Master of Science and Postgraduate Certificate in Human Nutrition, Master of Science in Chronic Disease Management, and Master of Science and Postgraduate Certificate in Applied Sports Nutrition. Sophie Beckwith. Thomas Birch. <laughs> Lucia Brito. <laughs> Sneha Chola. Jack Churro. <laughs> Ebenezer Amissa. <laughs> Jennifer Ellis. Holly Davidge. <laughs> Jennifer Davies. <laughs> Alexia Derbyshire. Charlotte Elms. <laughs> Jacob Hayden. <laughs> Brooke Holden. Anna Lee. <laughs> James Luxton. <laughs> Katie Milligan. Erin Pickard. <laughs> Holly Stocks. <laughs> Shannon Tilly. Camilla Van Heeften. <laughs> Rosie Young. <laughs> Miles Adler. Joe Bennett.
Jackson Bradley. <laughs> Stephen Coney. <laughs> Neve Connolly. James Coral, <laughs> Craig DeMello, <laughs> Sasha Edgler. Asad Fazil. Adam Kershid. Alexandra McHale. Milan Nestorovic. <laughs> Luke Reeves. <laughs> Callum Day. Kemi Adewomi. <laughs> Raya Ahmed. <laughs> Alessandra Berberis. Lucy Haynes. <laughs> Harry Ledger. <laughs> Augusta Lloyd. Stella Redman. <laughs> Julia Daniak. <laughs> Flavia Idikula. Amy Leach. <laughs> Rahila Putham Pidiakal. <laughs> Jasmine Tour. Amber Verma. (laughs) 
Eniola Jacobs. Chika Udili Uzuji. Hannah Tucker. Karina Huck. <laughs> Nofisat Ishola. Tetiana Onishuk. <laughs> Emily Richardson. <laughs> Lucy Baker. Irina Bormatova. Bridget Heath. Daniel Johnston. Demetrius Manouris. <laughs> Anita Namugera. <laughs> Adez Abasuyu. Anais Ramna. <laughs> Tia Bovell. <laughs> Christina Rini. Natalia Ruchinska. <laughs> Aisha Newman. <laughs> Grace Arreo. Titilope Bio EG Igioma Ahika.
Palajo Kahindi. Rutendo Makuve. Ruchi Wadwa. Lisa Corallini. Izzy Morris. Nicola Musgrave. Egle Narkovichut. <laughs> Ritika Sharma. Barbati Shrestha. Jordan Watts. Simon Williamson. This concludes the presentation of the postgraduate awards from the School of Allied Health and Life Sciences. Uh, <laughs> I present the following candidates from the School of Allied Health and Life Sciences for the awards of Bachelor of Science in Sport Rehabilitation and Bachelor of Science in Applied Physics. Kyra Adley Grice. Joel Agus. Benjamin Goodhand. Maisie Hannington Green. George Hawkes. <laughs> ben Locke. <laughs> Millie Mayo. Amelia Montague. <laughs> Barney Orchard. <laughs> Ramandeep Full. Shannon Rex. (Applause) 
Braulio Rodriguez Leon. Zoya Bukhari. Armin Tahiri. Surya Galay. Joshua Potts. This concludes the presentation of the awards from the Faculty of Sport Technology and Health Sciences. Leanne Griffith, Dean of the Faculty of Sport, Technology, Health and Health Sciences to address the congregation. Vice-Chancellor, colleagues, guests and of course graduates, today is a very special day for each and every person gathered in the chapel and it's an honour to be here celebrating with you. For those of you that are family members, friends and loved ones of those graduating, I know that you, like me and all of my colleagues here today, will feel immensely proud as we celebrate the commitment and the achievements while studying at St Mary's University. It's important to recognise the contribution that many people have played in this journey and the success of our graduates. You made this day possible with your support and your encouragement. This may have been the initial push to embark on a degree programme in the first place. You may have provided wise words and important moments, or been a listening ear in challenging times. Your care and support will have had a significant impact on our graduates' time at university. And to our graduates, in this ceremony, we celebrate the achievements of the School of Allied Health and Life Science in the academic year of 2022-23. Today we celebrate your academic achievement, but also everything that got you to this point. The classroom experience that you had here at university, each and every assessment point that you undertook, the late nights of study, and maybe the moment that you didn't think you'd make it here today. Many of you here will have completed a research project, and I speak, when I, I speak from experience when I say that this opportunity to gain insight into skills in the world of applied research is quite a roller coaster as a student. You may or may not relate to the frustrations of the participant who didn't turn up for your testing period, the data that got lost, or the late nights spent writing up your project. However, I am absolutely confident in saying that the skills that you learnt during this process will prepare you to be a lifelong learner to apply your knowledge to authentic and real life experiences. Here in the Faculty of Sport Technology and Health Sciences, we are successful in producing graduates who are driven, but also caring and respectful. You will make an impact on the world, on others, and you will drive change in your chosen profession. The nature of our courses naturally bring a sense of healthy competitiveness, which creates a thriving and exciting environment to learn in. Our classrooms replicate the world you'll work, which enables you to be prepared for employment in your chosen field. And most importantly, you're all wonderful people and you've made lifelong friends in your time here with us at St. Mary's. The world we live in requires us to adapt our knowledge to different environments, which is a skill that you've learned in addition to your subject knowledge. Together, we have learned to listen, we've learned to process information, assess, reflect, and treat people as individuals. As faculty staff, we are immensely proud of your ability to adapt. Not only have you mastered the, apt the art of adapting knowledge in your learning, but you've also taken every opportunity to practice this. 
Our ability to adapt in, a challenge, in changing circumstances helps us to become more resilient. Resilient takes time, practice, and confidence. The confidence that you have shown demonstrates that you've worked hard, you've focused on areas that need development, and you have all persevered when the going gets tough. And I can assure you that we as staff members have learned from our experience of teaching you, and we also adapt and change what we do, become better at what we do. So for that, I thank you. Your achievements, which have led to the awards you have received formally today, have the capacity to transform your lives. And more importantly than that, you have the potential to transform the lives of those around you. Each of you in a very different and unique way. You have the opportunity to contribute to the direction of society, to foster respect, to create a sense of encouragement and community cohesion. As well as the experience, knowledge and skills that you've developed through your studies here at St Mary's, you take with you the values of St Mary's into an exciting, rapidly changing, unpredictable and often uncertain world. The graduates sat here today in front of us are ready to face the challenges that brings. And as a final message for our graduates, we hope that as you leave us, you graduate with not just an academic qualification, but with the formation of your values, virtues and character, embodying a true St Mary's alumni, a Sumerian, a Simi. I hope that as you leave St Mary's today, you've been inspired during your time here and you continue to be interested in the achievements that we have here at St Mary's. You can be confident in the knowledge that the community of St Mary's will always welcome you, no matter where you're working, no matter where you are in the world or what stage of your life you might be in. As we witness the end of your time as a student at St Mary's, another door awaits you with lots of opportunity, chances, challenges and pursuits. The time will come for you to utilise the skills you have learnt with us, to apply them in your own way. Each and every one of you is different and we are celebrating that here today. Sure, you're going to face adversity along the way, you'll need to adapt, but you're prepared and ready for that as you leave us today. So huge congratulations to everybody graduating from St Mary's University today. We're extremely proud to count you among our alumni. Thank you. This concludes the formal ceremony. Please stand for the departure of the platform party.
Welcome to the graduations for St Mary's University. We are pleased that we are able to gather and celebrate the achievements of our graduates who are present here today. We shall commence the proceedings with a service of thanksgiving, which can be found at page 8 of the graduation programme, following which there shall be the presentation of awards. I now invite Bishop Richard Moss to lead us in a service of thanksgiving. As Chair of the Board of Governors here at St Mary's, can I on my own behalf and on, on behalf of everybody who serves on the Board congratulate all those of you who graduate today and your families and all who have supported you on this wonderful journey to this day. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. So we now join in singing our opening hymn. Please be seated. I now invite Elizabeth Bell, our University Secretary, to proclaim the Word of God. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed and understanding was given me. I entreated and the Spirit of Wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. Compared with her, I held riches as nothing. I reckoned no precious stone to be her equal, but compared with her, all gold is a pinch of sand, and beside her, silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health or beauty, preferred her to the light, since her, her radiance never sleeps. In her company, all good things came to me, and at her hands incalculable wealth. All these delighted me since wisdom brings them, though I did not realize then that she was their mother. What I learned diligently, I shall pass on liberally. I shall not conceal how she is, for she is to human beings an exhaustible treasure, and those who acquire this win God's friendship, commended to him by the gift of instruction. This is the word of the Lord. Please stand. In the spirit of thanksgiving, we pray using the words that Jesus has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord God, your blessing reaches to the ends of the earth, and we ask you today to look favourably upon all who are present, that we may always enjoy searching for truth and take delight in new discoveries. Help us to share our knowledge with gentle patience and endeavour always to bring the truth to others. Confirm us in your renewing spirit that we may walk together with you and with one another. We thank you for the gifts of wisdom, knowledge and friendship which we celebrate together. May everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your help, and reach perfection under your guidance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. I now invite Caitlin Finn, Student Life President at St Mary's Student Union, to address the congregation. Before I begin, I, we, need a moment to take all of this in. It's 2024 and we have our very own Sport, Technology and Health Sciences Simmies about to become St Mary's alumni. I think this calls for an appropriate response. Could I ask you all to join me in congratulating this momentous achievement by making some noise? I am truly honored to share in the intensity of emotions filling this cathedral today as you, the graduates, close this chapter of your life story. Parents, friends and family, you must be overwhelmed with emotion. Immense pride, as well as a sense of wonder at where the time has gone. It may not seem like that long ago that these graduates started primary school. Of course, the time it has taken to get from reception to this graduation ceremony may seem like an eternity for the graduates, and indeed some family members and friends as well. But graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a small part of the journey that is life. Everyone, when growing up, was asked the same question. What do you want to be when you grow up? My answer was a teacher from the age of four upwards. My brother's response was a builder. And I'm sure you all remember your standard replies to that question from when you were a child. But each and every one of us has gotten the answer wrong every single time. Because asking what you want to be is not the same question as what you want to do. Now that you have earned your university degree, some of you will know exactly what field of work you will go into, and some of you will have absolutely no idea, which is completely fine too. But much more important than what job you're going to have, or what work you're going to do, is the idea of what kind of person you're going to be, and what impact you're going to have on the world around you. Who you're going to be is a much deeper question than what you're going to do, and creating a response takes a great deal of reflection and a sense of self. For me, I wanted to be a teacher because I want to make a difference. A change maker is who I'm going to be. Reflect today on your answer and how it aligns with the person you want to be. Over the past few years, you have endured a great deal, both individually and collectively. You have encountered various challenges. I like to envision each of you as incomplete puzzles, gradually coming together through the people you've met, your unique experiences and struggles, 
the places you've been and the opportunities you have been granted. While your experiences at St Mary's will have differed greatly, there were certain shared aspects, such as mealtimes in the ref, the dreaded 9am lectures, all-nighters in the library, 4am submissions, and of course, the unexpected. And now, here you are, achieving what you set out to accomplish. Undoubtedly, there were moments when you all questioned whether it was possible, but you proved that you could. Now you are prepared to venture into the world and make a positive impact. In conclusion, I would like to express my gratitude for everything you have contributed to St Mary's during your time as students. You have been, are now, and will forever remain a vital part of the vast and ever-growing Simi community. Lastly, I'd like to share a quote by Forbes Watson. No one can truly appreciate the beauty of flowers unless they appreciate the wild one. My message is to embrace all the untamed aspects of your life, whether they be challenging relationships, personal struggles, or difficult days because those wild elements are what makes the garden bigger, bolder and brighter. So take a deep breath and savour this moment, for it belongs to you. Kohar just congratulations everyone. My Lord, university colleagues, friends and family, graduates, welcome to St Mary's graduation ceremony. I'm Anthony McLaren and I have the honour to be Vice-Chancellor of this university. Today's spring graduation is taking place in our university chapel, the chapel ambitiously inspired by Albee Cathedral with the remarkable stained glass windows designed in shark will have been a familiar sight to you as graduates during your time at St Mary's as you walked across the piazza. Today, we're celebrating your success within this exceptional building. On behalf of all the staff at St Mary's University, academic and professional, I would like to offer you our warmest congratulations on the awards that you are about to receive. After many years of study, commitment and perseverance, your hard work has led to the academic achievement recognized today. This marks a very proud day for you and your families, friends and support. As you celebrate today, it's a good time to look back and reflect on the journeys that led you to this point, from before you came to St Mary's and during your time with us. Think back to your years of academic work, your learning and how you improved and progressed up to the next levels of study, the encouragement you received from friends and family, from your tutors, and of course, from your fellow students. Think back to your other activities, one of the sports for which St. Mary's is renowned, or volunteering and service learning, or work placements. Graduates, your presence today indicates very visibly your strength, determination, and resilience. But we're also resilient collectively as a university community. And this is also a time to acknowledge and celebrate those collective successes. So join me for a moment in looking back over the past year at some of the outstanding external measures of that success, which we all in our diverse ways have contributed. Let me start with our excellent results in last year's graduate outcomes survey, which told us that over 84% of our graduate leavers went into highly skilled employment or further study, outperforming both the London and the sector-wide averages for this indicator. In the most recent National Student Survey, the NSS, our results of last year saw another very strong performance across the score, with undergraduates giving a, positively, a positivity rating of 88% for teaching at St Mary's and 89% for academic support. That places us as 11th nationally among all universities and second in London. The Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2024 saw the university climb again another six places from 51st in 2023 to our highest ever position of 45th place, 45th place nationally and 8th in London. The Times ranking places St Mary's 5th nationally teaching quality 
seventh for student experience, and in the top two universities in London for both teaching quality and the wider student experience. And then finally, our excellent Teaching Excellent Framework score, with silver awarded to us for student outcomes and a gold for the student experience. This year, we also celebrated the launch of our new undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in computer science and the launch of St. Mary's Online, a global platform for our courses and the first students for St. Mary's Online have just begun their program. Phase two of our student heart social building is well on the way to completion and later this year, we will embark on the construction of a brand new teaching block near the sports center. Next year, there's gonna be a particular focus for our celebrations. 2025 will mark the 175th anniversary of the foundation of St. Mary's in 1850 and the centenary of our move here to Strawberry Hill in 1925. We're going to be holding celebrations throughout 2025 in a spirit of thanksgiving for all that we've received over the years as a community and in hope for all that we expect to achieve in the years ahead. We hope also to see many of you back on campus. Do keep in touch with us through our alumni association. And so as you graduate today and take your place in the wider community beyond St. Mary's, there's so much of which you can feel proud. We're sure that as Sumerian ambassadors, you will continue to embody our values of inclusiveness, generosity of spirit, respect, and excellence. Most of all, be proud of your achievement. I can assure you that we are proud of you. Once again, I offer my most sincere congratulations to everyone graduating today. And on behalf of all the staff here at St. Mary's, I would like to wish, wish you a most enjoyable and memorable occasion. And now we move to the formal presentation of degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit all those present and in absentia to the awards listed in the program. I now invite Jessica Hill, Head of the School of Sport, Exercise and Applied Science to commence the presentation of the candidates from the Faculty of Sport, Technology and Health Sciences. I present the following candidate from the Faculty of Sport, Technology and Health Sciences, School of Sport and Exercise and Applied Science for the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Sport. Thesis title, Measuring, Monitoring and Improving Sleep Variables, Its Application to Professional Football Players. Luke Edinburgh. This concludes the presentation of the PhD awards. I present the following candidates from the Faculty of Sport, Technology and Health Sciences, School of Sport, Exercise and Applied Science for the awards of Master of Science in Strength and Conditioning, Master of Science in Applied Strength and Conditioning Science, Master of Science and Postgraduate Certificate in Applied Sport and Exercise Biomechanics, Master of Science in Applied Sport Psychology, Master of Science in Professional Development Performance Analysis, Master of Science in Professional Development with Sports Coaching, Master of Science and Postgraduate Diploma in Performance Football Coaching, and Master of Science and Postgraduate Certificate in Applied Sport and Exercise Physiology. Erin Barber. <laughs> Susan Burness. Will Carlos.
George Coote. Rory Creeley. Jack Easthope. Yap Edaving. Sam Grouse. Liam Harrison. George Howard. Thomas John. Mark Kirkhoff. Felicien Mercica. Graham Norton. Rebecca Owen. James So. Christoph Thorman. Amina Rizwan Bashir. Jude Curtis. Ben Dawes. Aidan Jamal. Callum Druitt. Aisha Gondal. Natasha Heyman. Syed Kayum. Weyong. Grace Perkins. Krishna Raghuraman. Sundas Salim. Soraya Santil Kumar.
James Spring. <laughs> Philippe Silvestre. <laughs> Siddharth Sunil. Cameron Tucker White, <laughs> Jamie Wilkinson, <laughs> Louise Wood. Ashi Malik, <laughs> James Wiltorton, <laughs> Dina Rana. Montgomery Simmons, <laughs> Oliver Spires, <laughs> Nathan Taylor. Abigail Tikaram, <laughs> Barry Williams, <laughs> Amen Salim. Eva Blazinska, <laughs> Maisie Bourne, <laughs> Brian E. Brock. Rebecca Bullock, <laughs> Pony Damon, <laughs> Phoebe Embury. Billy Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Hannah Siddons. <laughs> Stephen Turner. Lizzie Craven, <laughs> Maria Maplestone, <laughs> Stephen Nash.
Yuki Tamari. Jacob Perry. Mark Saunders. Gemma Taylor. Paul Corlander. Fabio Carmo. Ryan Elton. Jeremy Jean. Charlene Lindsay. Richard Mills. <laughs> Finn Pagden Lucas. <laughs> Thomas Sims. Silas Woolway. <laughs> Mohammed Herman Sailani. <laughs> Barhad Ishmael. Anthony Fletcher. Simon Adoli. This concludes the presentation of the Postgraduate Awards from the School of Sport, Exercise and Applied Science. I present the following candidates from the School of Sport, Exercise and Applied Science for the awards of Bachelor of Science in Strength and Conditioning Science, Bachelor of Science in Sports Performance and Talent ID, Bachelor of Science in Sports Coaching Science, Bachelor of Science in Sports Psychology, Bachelor of Science in Sport and Exercise Science, Bachelor of Science in Sport and Exercise Nutrition, Bachelor of Science in Chelsea Football Club Foundation Coaching, Bachelor of Science in Performance Analysis and Talent ID, and Foundation Degree in Physical Education and Sports Coaching. Bradley Fox. <laughs> Gabriella Delord. Mac Egan. Jack Ellaby.
Dominic Gallagher. Brian Lobel. Max Sebastian Todd. Adam Stevens. Tom Stevenson. Rory Van Rout. Tegan Meyer Hardiman. Lewis Gates. Elizabeth Waters. Abigail Burton. Bartello and Colobe. Lawrence Lowe. Thomas Hosier. George Deans. Harry Saki. This concludes the presentation of the awards from the Faculty of Sport, Technology and Health Sciences. I now invite Leanne Griffith, Dean of the Faculty of Sport, Technology and Health Sciences to address the congregation. Vice-Chancellor, colleagues, guests, and of course, graduates. Today is a very special day for each person gathered in the chapel, and it's an honor to be here celebrating with you. For those of you that are family members, friends, or loved ones of those graduating, I know like, that you, like me, and all of my colleagues here today will feel immensely proud as we celebrate their commitment and their achievements while studying at St. Mary's University. It's important to recognize the contribution that many people have made to the journey and success of our graduates. You made this day possible with your support and your encouragement. This may have been the initial push to embark on a degree program in the first place. You may have provided wise words at important moments or been a listening ear in challenging times. Your care and support will have had a significant impact on our graduates and their time at university. To our graduates, in this ceremony, we celebrate the achievements of the School of Sport, Exercise and Applied Science during the academic year 22-23. Today, we celebrate your academic achievement, but also everything that got you to this point. The classroom experience, each and every assessment point, the late nights of study, 
and maybe the moment that you thought you wouldn't make it here today. Many of you will have completed a research project, and I speak from experience when I say that this opportunity to gain insight and skill in the world of applied research is quite a roller coaster as a student. You may or may not relate to the frustrations of the, the participant who didn't turn up for your testing, the data that got lost, or the late nights spent writing up your project. However, I am absolutely confident in saying that the skills learned during this process will prepare you to be lifelong learners, to apply your knowledge to authentic and real life experiences. Here in the Faculty of Sport, Technology and Health Sciences, we are successful in producing graduates who are driven, but also caring and respectful. You will make an impact on the world, on others, and you will drive change. The nature of our courses naturally bring a sense of healthy competitiveness, which creates a thriving and exciting environment to learn in. Our classrooms replicate the world you'll work in, which enables you to be prepared for employment in your chosen field. And most importantly, you're all just wonderful people and you have all made lifelong friendships with those of you sat together today. The world that we live in requires us to adapt our knowledge to different environments, which is a skill that you have learned in addition to your subject knowledge. Together, we have learned to listen, we've learned to process information, assess, reflect, and treat people as individuals. As faculty staff, we are immensely proud of your ability to adapt. Not only have you asked, mastered the art of adapting knowledge in your learning, but you've also taken every opportunity to practice this. Our ability to adapt to challenging circumstances helps us become more resilient. Resilience takes time, practice, and confidence. And the confidence that you have shown demonstrates that you've worked hard, you've focused on areas that you needed to develop, and you've persevered when the going gets tough. And I can assure you that we as staff have learned from our experiences of teaching you, and we also adapt our, and change our practice to become better at what we do. So for that, I say thank you. Your achievements which have led to the awards you have received formally today have the capacity to transform your lives. And more importantly than that, you have the potential to transform the lives of others around you. Each of you in a unique and different way. You have the opportunity to, to direct society, to foster respect, create a sense of encouragement and community cohesion. As well as the experience, knowledge and skills you developed for your studies here at St. Mary's, you will take the values with you of St. Mary's into an exciting, rapidly changing, often unpredictable and uncertain world. The graduates sat here today are ready to face the challenges that this brings. And a final message for the graduates here today. We hope that as you leave us, you graduate with not just an academic qualification, but with the formation of your values, virtues and character, embodying a, a true St. Mary's alumni, a Sumerian, a Simi. I hope that as you leave St. Mary's today, you've been inspired during your time here and continue to be interested in our achievements. You can be confident in the knowledge that the community of St. Mary's will always welcome you, no matter where you're working, no matter where you may be in the world, and no matter of what stage of your life you're in. As we witness the end of your time as a student at St. Mary's, another door awaits you with lots of opportunity, chance, challenge, and pursuit. The time will come for you to utilize the skills you've learned with us and to apply them in your own way. Each of one of you is, is different and this should be celebrated. Sure, you'll face adversity, you'll need to adapt, but you're prepared and you're ready to do that. So congratulations to everybody graduating from St. Mary's University today. We're extremely proud to count you a lot among our alumni. Thank you. This concludes the formal ceremony. Would you please stand for the departure of the platform party?
welcome to the graduations for St Mary's University. We are pleased that we are able to gather and celebrate the achievements of our graduates who are present here today. We shall commence the proceedings with a service of thanksgiving, which can be found at page 8 of the graduation programme, following which there shall be a presentation of awards. I now invite Bishop Richard Moss to lead us in a service of thanksgiving. Just before our short time of prayer, as uh, Chair of the Board of Governors of the University, can I on my own behalf and on all of us who serve on the Board congratulate all those of you graduating today. Uh, it's a wonderful day for you and for your families and friends, um, and I'm sure a day that you'll remember for a very, very long time. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Now we join in singing our opening hymn. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and understanding was given me. I entreated, and the Spirit of Wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones, compared with her I held riches as nothing. I reckoned no precious stone to be her equal, for compared with her, all gold is a pinch of sand, and beside her, silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health or beauty, preferred her to the light, since her radiance never sleeps. In her company, all good things came to me, and at her hands incalculable wealth. All these delighted me, since wisdom brings them, though I did not then realize that she was their mother. What I learned diligently, I shall pass on liberally. I shall not conceal how she is, for she is to human beings an inexhaustible treasure, and those who acquire this win God's friendship commended to him 
by the gifts of instruction. The word of the Lord. Be sad. In the spirit of thanksgiving, we pray using the words that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Let us pray. Lord God, your blessing reaches to the ends of the earth, and we ask you today to look favourably upon all who are present, that we may always enjoy searching for truth and take delight in new discoveries. Help us to share our knowledge with gentle patience and endeavour always to bring the truth to others. Confirm us in your renewing spirit, that we may walk together with you and with one another. We thank you for the gifts of wisdom, knowledge and friendship, which we celebrate together. May everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your help and reach perfection under your guidance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. I now invite Caitlin Finn, Student Life President at St Mary's Student Union, to address the congregation. But before I begin, I, we, need a moment to take all of this in. It's 2024 and we have our very own Business and Law Semis about to become St Mary's alumni. I think this calls for an appropriate response. Could I ask you all to join me in congratulating this momentous achievement by making some noise? I am truly honoured to share in the intensity of emotions filling this chapel today as you, the graduates, close this chapter of your life story. Parents, friends and family, you must be overwhelmed with emotion, immense pride, as well as a sense of wonder at where the time has gone. It may not seem like that long ago that these graduates started primary school. Of course, the time it has taken to get from reception to this graduation ceremony may seem like an eternity for the graduates, and indeed some family members and friends as well. But graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a small part of the journey that is life. Everyone, when growing up, was asked the same question. What do you want to be when you grow up? My answer was a teacher from the age of four, and my brother's response was a builder. And I'm sure you can all remember your standard replies from when you were a child. But each and every one of us has gotten the answer wrong every single time. Because asking what you want to be is not the same question as what you would like to do. Now that you have earned your university degree, some of you will know exactly what field of work you will go into and some of you will have absolutely no idea, which is completely fine too. But much more important than what job you're going to have and what work you're going to do is the idea of what kind of person you would like to be and what impact you're going to have on the world around you. Who you're going to be is a much deeper question than what you're going to do. And creating a response takes a great deal of reflection and a sense of self. For me, I wanted to be a teacher because I want to make a difference. 
A change maker is who I'm going to be. Reflect today on your answer and how it aligns with the person that you want to be. Over the past few years, you have endured a great deal. Both individually and collectively, you have encountered various challenges. I like to envision each of you as incomplete puzzles, gradually coming together through the people you've met, your unique experiences and struggles, the places you've been, and the opportunities that you have been granted. While your experiences at St Mary's will have differed greatly, there were certain shared aspects, such as mealtimes in the ref, those dreaded 9am lectures, all-nighters in the library, 4am submissions, and of course, the unexpected global pandemic thrown into the mix. And now here you are, achieving what you set out to accomplish. Undoubtedly, there will have been moments where you all questioned whether it was possible, but you proved that you could. Now you are prepared to venture into the world and make a positive impact. In conclusion, I would like to express my gratitude for everything that you have contributed to St Mary's during your time as students. You have been, are now, and will forever remain a vital part of the vast and ever-growing Simi community. Lastly, I'd like to share a quote by Forbes Watson. No one can truly appreciate the beauty of flowers unless they appreciate the wild ones. My message is to embrace all of the untamed aspects of your life, whether they be challenging relationships, personal struggles, or difficult days, because those wild elements are what makes the garden bigger, bolder, and brighter. So take a deep breath and savour this moment, for it belongs to you. Kohar Jaskathena, congratulations everyone. My Lord, uh, university colleagues, friends and family, graduates, welcome to St Mary's graduation ceremony. I'm Anthony McLaren and I have the honour to be Vice-Chancellor of this university. Today's spring graduation is taking place in our university chapel. The chapel, ambitiously inspired by Albi Cathedral, with the remarkable stained glass windows designed in Chartres, will have been a familiar sight to you graduates throughout your time at St Mary's as you walked across the piazza. Today, we're celebrating your success in this exceptional building. On behalf of all the staff at St. Mary's University, academic and professional, I would like to offer our warmest congratulations to the graduates receiving awards today. After the many years of study, commitment and perseverance, your hard work has led to the academic achievement we recognize today. This marks a very proud day for you and for your families friends and support. As you celebrate today, it's a good time to look back and reflect on the journeys that led you to this point, from before you came to St Mary's and during your time with us. Think back to your years of academic work, your learning and how you improved and progressed up to the next levels of study, the encouragement you receive from those who love and support you, your tutors and of course, your fellow students. Think back to your other activities, perhaps one of the sports for which St Mary's is renowned, or volunteering, or service learning, or work placements. Graduates, your presence today indicates very visibly your strength, determination, and resilience. But we're also resilient collectively as a university community, and this is also a time to acknowledge and celebrate those collective successes. So join me for a moment in looking back over the past year at some of the outstanding successes of which we all, in our diverse ways, have played a part. I'll start with the excellent results in the Graduate Outcomes Survey published last year, which told us that over 84% of our graduate leavers went into highly skilled employment or further study, outperforming both the London and the sector-wide national averages for this indicator. In the most recent National Student Survey, the NSS, we saw another very strong performance for this university, with undergraduates giving a positivity rating of 88% for teaching at St Mary's and 89% for academic support. That places us 11th nationally among all universities and second in London. 
The Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2024 saw the university climb again another six places, from 51st in 2023 to our highest ever position of 45th place nationally and 8th in London. The Times ranking also places St Mary's 5th nationally for teaching quality and 7th for student experience, and in the top two universities in London for both teaching quality and the wider student experience. Then most recently, our Excellent Teaching Excellence Framework outcomes, with silver for our student outcomes and gold for student experience. This year, we also celebrated the launch of our new undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in computer science and the launch of St. Mary's Online, a global platform for our courses. And the first students at St. Mary's Online have just begun their programme. Phase two of our student heart social building is well on its way to completion. And later this year, we will embark on the construction of a brand new teaching block near the sports centre. Now next year, there's going to be a particular focus for our celebrations here at St Mary's because 2025 will mark the 175th anniversary of our foundation back in 1850 and the centenary of our move to Strawberry Hill in 1925. There are going to be celebrations held throughout 2025 in a spirit of thanksgiving for all that our community has received over many years and of hope for all that we believe we can achieve in the years to come. And we hope also to see many of you graduating today back on campus. Please keep in touch with us. This is always your home. So as you graduate today and take your place in the wider community beyond St. Mary's, there's so much of which you can feel proud. We're sure that as Sumerian ambassadors, you will continue to embody our values of inclusiveness, generosity of spirit, respect, and excellence. Most of all, be proud of your achievement. I can assure you that we are proud of you. Once again, I offer my most sincere congratulations to everyone graduating today. On behalf of all the staff here, I would like to wish you a most enjoyable and memorable occasion. And now we begin the formal conferral of degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit all those present and in absentia to the awards listed in the program. I now invite Professor Sarah Spear, Executive Dean of the Faculty of Business and Law, to commence the presentation of the candidates. present the following candidates from the Faculty of Business and Law, School of Law and Society, to the award of Doctor of Philosophy in Law and Social Policy. Munat Mustafa, thesis title, Exploring the Efficacy of the Legal Framework and Interventions in Tackling Sexual and Gender-Based Violence in Internally Displaced Persons Camp in the Northeast Nigeria. Munat Mustafa. This concludes the presentation of the PhD award. <coughs> I present the following candidates from the School of Law and Society for the awards of LLM in International Business Law, Master of Arts in Diplomacy and International Relations, Master of Arts in Human Trafficking, Modern Slavery, Migration and Organized Crime, Master of Arts and Postgraduate Diploma in Human Trafficking, Migration and Organized Crime, Master of Arts in Social Justice and Public Service, LLB Law, and LLB Law with Criminology. Philomena Aganabar. <laughs> Harry Kamal.
Mohammed Safian Ashraf. Sipan Azam. Benedict Ayade. <laughs> Mohammed Essam. <laughs> Marie Floor. Mohammed Osman Iqbal. <laughs> Adil Javed. <laughs> Preston Kada. Christelle Kwevi Akai. <laughs> Emmanuel Mayungbe. <laughs> Dula Mastra. Osama bin Kaiser. <laughs> Mohammed Adil Raza. <laughs> Hassan Akhtar Tahir. Shamsha <laughs> Garang <laughs> Tanita Adikari. Mihir Chola. <laughs> Jackie Aral Dangana. <laughs> Tika Ram Nupain. <laughs> Ayun Kansola Elojo. <laughs> Regina Pando. <laughs> Lisette Perez Hamio.
Kate Roberts. Mohamed Jazir Yunus. <laughs> Aliyah Zahim. <laughs> Francesca Filiacci. Velasquez Vera. <laughs> Shibuki Avazuo. <laughs> Ola Oloa Awabajo. Madupe by Logan. <laughs> Favour Parda. <laughs> Desire de Souza. Anushka Kana Hannah Mohammed Mansour Fayaseo Adibanjo Anza Ajmal. Niraj Ariel. Hazim Aziz. Near Chowdhury Badon <laughs> Ikrabati <laughs> Maya Chanel Bahui. Deep Singh Chowdhury. <laughs> Istiak Chowdhury. <laughs> Chelsea Contreras Arias.
Amy Caramans. Delay Garba. Dikshaya <laughs> Gautam. <laughs> no more Desai. Jimmy Hay. <laughs> Raja Etisam Javed. <laughs> Mohammed Kamran. Mosin Ali Malik. <laughs> Nippon Mishra. <laughs> Prakriti Nagarkoti. Mitra Nepali. <laughs> Possible Nuakolo. Oma Pariola. <laughs> Gilarat Damilala Hadawale. <laughs> Mariam Ahmad Olaniyi. Wawa Mimo Oyeniyi. Amandit Kaapanu. Adli Sharon. Keep Salam <laughs> Asim Shoi <laughs> Asad Salim. Silliman <laughs> Nora Tazoni <laughs> 
Mohammed Tarab. Salman Zafar. Mohammed Shakir Hassan. Raja Hamza Baba. Hafiz Mohammed Hamid Bashir. Nisha Bataro. Miriam Sheriff. Fima Durrani. Marcus Lee and Gakran Vasquez. <laughs> Vishal Garang. Abdul Islam Jakub Kalinowski Mohammed Mossin. <laughs> Mohammed Osama Maksa. <laughs> Arsilda Nehana. <laughs> Hayami Ogan Madeko <laughs> Navjot Singh <laughs> Miriam Tafa. Dawad Farouk. <laughs> Aslam Abdul Rahman. <laughs> Garen Bevan. Abby Goodham. <laughs> Josefina Mondaka.
Neha Puri. Emma Valenti. Tinian Edosa. <laughs> Abby Winsell. <laughs> Johansov Ahmad. <laughs> Michelle Zahave. Hayeva <laughs> Amir. <laughs> Mariam Arshad. Emily Dance. <laughs> Ethan Hodges. Arun Poju, Olulanke. <laughs> Safwan Sagir. <laughs> Imogen Ainsworth. Sajad. <laughs> Reuven Blignot. <laughs> James Davis. <laughs> Lyle Anthony Golding <laughs> Alex Guildford Michael Johnston. <laughs> Connor Keenan. <laughs> Bo 
Turkish mainland. <laughs> Seth Knowles. James Price. Edward Rajan. Alexander Reed. Ashley Ahmed. Todd Harris. <laughs> Caleb Matumba. <laughs> Anna Rodriguez Martinez. <laughs> Sanchez. <laughs> Andrew Smith. <laughs> Adriana Warren. George Yates. Carolina Benedito. Yeah. Ahmed Hassan Sahel. <laughs> Mohammed Najim. Prince Kagabo. <laughs> Shane Bowler. <laughs> Shane Giddings. Alia Ali. <laughs> Brest Pinaszewski.
This has presented candidates from the School of Business and Communication for the awards of Master of Science and Postgraduate Certificate in International Business Management, Master of Science in International Finance and Accounting, Master of Science in Sports Management, Master of Arts in Charity Management, Master of Science in Marketing, Master of Arts in Sports Journalism, Master of Arts in International Sports Journalism, Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, Bachelor of Arts in International Business Management, Bachelor of Arts in Business Management and Marketing, and Bachelor of Arts in Business Law and Management. This concludes the presentation of the awards from the Faculty of Business and Law. Executive Dean of the Faculty of Business and Law to address the congregation. Good afternoon, Pre Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, graduates. I'm delighted to extend a warm welcome to you all and to thank you for joining us on this special occasion, which is one of my favourite parts of the academic year. First of all, I would like to congratulate our fantastic graduates who leave here today having completed one part of their journey and ready to start the next. We've heard a whole range of qualifications as you've crossed the stage reflecting the wide breadth of skills and knowledge that you will take out with you into the world. All of you have dedicated time, money, mental and physical effort to your studies, and your passion and determination has got you to this point. Please, therefore, can we have a round of applause for you to celebrate the success of yourself and your peers. there have been many people who have supported and inspired our graduates along the way and some of these are likely in the audience today from the parents who encouraged your ambitions the teacher who challenged you to venture out your comfort zone and the grandparents aunts and uncles who have no idea what you're studying at university but are really proud anyway <laughs> without these people your struggles would be harder and your success is less sweet we can all think of a time when a listening ear wise words or a shoulder to cry on has made a difference enabled us to keep striving on. Let us therefore also take a moment to thank the family, friends, lecturers, mentors and colleagues who have cared for, taught and guided you. Let's have a round of applause to show our appreciation for them. So now is the time to take stock of your achievement and to look forward. You continued with your education through a very challenging period and you shouldn't underestimate the skills this has enabled you to build alongside the knowledge that you gained from your courses. The resilience, flexibility and openness to change that you have all demonstrated are crucial traits that employers look for and which will enable you to succeed in an exciting, rapidly changing and often unpredictable and uncertain world. You also take with you the values of St Mary's and the potential to transform not just your own lives but also the lives of others. You have the opportunity to contribute to the well-being and progress of society and to foster cohesion, tolerance and respect in the communities you will live and work in. Take time to consider your own values and purpose. What are the core principles that will guide your decisions and choices? How can you use your attributes and talents to encourage diversity, support sustainability and create a more just society? But as well as looking to the future, I also encourage you to take time to appreciate the moment. We can often be so busy planning the next step setting the next goal, we forget to live in the present. And I'm definitely guilty of doing this too. Remember to pause and appreciate the big successes, like today, and also the smaller moments of happiness and peace, whether that is during time spent with family and friends, or time alone to recharge and reflect. It can be easy to feel overwhelmed by the demands of our busy lives, so be kind to yourselves as well as to others. I hope that you have been inspired during your time here at St Mary's, and will feel pride in our future achievements as we do in yours. As an alumni of the university, the community of St Mary's will always welcome you, no matter where you may be in the world or at what stage in your life, and we are always keen to stay in touch. Our network, the Friends of St Mary's, gives both former students and staff, together with families, friends and the university's well-wishers, an opportunity to play an active role in the life and mission of St Mary's. We hope that as you leave us, you graduate with not just an academic qualification, 
but with the values, virtues and character that embody a true Simi. I wish you all the very best in your future paths. Please do stay in touch and come back to visit us and share your stories to the next generation of students. Congratulations again and enjoy your day. This concludes the formal ceremony. Would you please stand for the departure of the platform party?
Welcome to the graduations for St. Mary's University. We are pleased that we're able to gather and celebrate the achievements of our graduates who are present here today. We shall commence the proceedings with a service of thanksgiving, which can be found at page eight of the graduation programme, following which there shall be the presentation of awards. I now invite Bishop Richard Moth to lead us in a service of thanksgiving. Just before we begin our short time of prayer together, uh, as the Chair of the Board of Governors here at St. Mary's, uh, can I offer to all of you today uh, a welcome on my own behalf and on behalf of all the members of a university board. This is something of an historic occasion, so thank you all of you for making the journey to be with us today. I'm sure it brings back many fond memories of deeds of daring do in past years. So uh, thank you all for being with us. Please stand. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. So let us join in singing our opening hymn. be seated. I now call on Elizabeth Bell, our University Secretary, to proclaim for us the Word of God. I prayed and understanding was given me. I entreated and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. Compared with her, I held riches as nothing. I reckoned no precious stone to be her equal, for compared with her, all gold is a pinch of sand, and beside her, silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health or beauty, preferred her to the light, since her radiance never sleeps. In her company, all good things come to me, and at her hands, incalculable wealth. All these delighted me, since wisdom brings them, though I did not realize that she was their mother. What I learned diligently, I shall pass on liberally. I shall not conceal how she is, for she is to human beings an inexhaustible treasure, and those who acquire this win God's friendship. Commended to him by the gifts of instruction, the word of the Lord. 
Please stand. In the spirit of thanksgiving for all that God has given to us, we pray in the words given to us by our Saviour. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. As it is in heaven, give us the same bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to Lord God, your blessing reaches to the ends of the earth, and we ask you today to look favorably upon all who are present, that we may always enjoy searching for truth and take delight in new discoveries. Help us to share our knowledge with gentle patience and endeavor always to bring the truth to others. Confirm us in your renewing spirit, that we may walk together with you and with one another. We thank you for the gifts of wisdom, knowledge and friendship which we celebrate together. May everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your help and reach perfection under your guidance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. <clears throat> May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. My Lord, university colleagues, friends and family, graduates, welcome to this university graduation ceremony. All graduations are special occasions, but I have no hesitation in saying that this one and the others this afternoon are particularly so. I'm Anthony McLaren. I have the honor to be vice chancellor of this university, and I'm delighted to welcome you to our celebration. Today's spring graduation is an especially notable occasion for all of us present here as this ceremony celebrates the award of honorary Bachelor of Education degrees. Our alumni present today graduated with a Certificate of Education or Cert Ed from St. Mary's College in the days before we held degree awarding powers. The Cert Ed is of course itself a highly significant and honorable qualification. But now, as St. Mary's University, and in possession of the right to award degrees at every level, in our own name, it's a tremendous honor for us to recognize your academic achievements and to celebrate your time studying and training as teachers with us all, with us all those years ago. This recognition has felt deeply appropriate to us, and I know from my correspondence from alumni to you as well. Over 800 Sumerians have asked for recognition of their previous studies, and nearly 400 of you in this ceremony and others will be with us this afternoon to receive your degrees in person. We're proud to confer upon you the honorary Bachelor of Education degree. So on behalf of all the staff, academic and professional at St. Mary's University, I'd like to offer our warmest congratulations to you, our graduates, receiving your honorary awards here today. Today's spring graduation is, of course, taking place in our university chapel. The chapel, ambitiously modeled on Albi Cathedral, with remarkable stained glass windows designed in Chartres, was built in 1962. And for many of you, it will have been a familiar sight during your time at St. Mary's. Today, we're celebrating your success and your achievements within this exceptional building. 
So while celebrating today, I'm sure you'll be looking back and reflecting on not only your time at St. Mary's, but also on everything that you have achieved since that time. St. Mary's itself, of course, has continued to develop and achieve in ways which I hope make you feel as proud of your alma mater as we are of you. University College status in 2006, full university title in 2014, and in 2021, recognition by the Privy Council of our research degree awarding powers. Let me also, to bring you up to date, reflect uh, for a moment on the notable successes of the past year. As some of you will know, St. Mary's is currently preparing for its 175th anniversary of teaching as a college and now as a university. We'll be holding celebrations throughout 2025, and we hope to see many of you back on campus for those celebrations. When you come back, you're coming back to an institution which has achieved remarkable things in many ways and many forms of external recognition. Let me start with our excellent results in the Graduate Outcomes Survey, published last year, which told us that only over 84% of our graduate leavers went into highly skilled employment or further study, outperforming both the London and the national sector-wide averages for this indicator. In the most recent National Student Survey, the NSS, the results of August 2023, which are the most recent ones, saw another very strong performance by this university throughout all the, score, all the scores, with undergraduates giving a positivity rating of 88% for teaching at St. Mary's and 89% for academic support. That places us 11th among all universities nationally and second in London. The Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2024, some of you may have seen that, saw the university climb again, another six places, from 51st in 2023 to our highest ever position of 45th nationally and 8th in London. The Times ranking places St Mary's 5th nationally for teaching quality and 7th for student experience, and in the top two universities in London for both teaching quality and the wider student experience. And then most recently, our excellent teaching excellence framework, TEF, our TEF outcomes, where we achieved silver for student outcomes and gold for student experience. You can see through all of those external uh, uh, marks of recognition, the strong thread around student support and teaching excellence, which I think characterizes St. Mary's and has characterized St. Mary's throughout its long history. This year, we celebrated the launch of our new undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in computer science and the launch of St. Mary's Online, a global platform for our courses, and the first students for St. Mary's Online have just begun the, their programs. Phase two of our student heart social building is well on the way to completion. You'll see it if you walk around the campus, and later this year we will embark on the construction of a brand new teaching block near the sports centre. Uh, we're looking after our heritage as well, with restoration having taken place this year of the Waldgrave Suite, uh, with new kitchen facilities, new uh, lift access, um, and we're continuing with a program of redecoration of the historic parts of the campus. In this chapel itself, uh, I'm delighted, and thank you to our pianist, but I'm delighted to tell you also that the chapel, uh, the chapel organ is in the process of being restored and will be uh, sounding forth again with full glory uh, later on this year. As I mentioned earlier, next year there's going to be a particular focus for our celebrations, the 175th anniversary of the foundation of St. Mary's. Do keep in touch with us. It will be wonderful to see many of you back here for the celebrations during that year. And we are planning a year of celebrations. Uh, in thanksgiving for everything that has been given to the St. Mary's community over so many years, and uh, in hope of everything that still remains to be achieved by our staff and students in the year to come. From 1850 and the days of the Catholic Poor Schools Committee, which founded us, to the flourishing university of today, and looking forward into the future, our mission remains constant. For me, it's summed up in one of my favorite quotes from Pope Francis. Education is always 
an act of hope. Once again, I offer my most sincere congratulations to everyone receiving an honorary Bachelor of Education today. On behalf of all the staff here at the university, I would like to wish you a most enjoyable and memorable day. We now proceed to the formal part of this afternoon's occasion. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit all those present and in absentia to the awards listed in the program. We now invite Annalise Gordon, Professor of Education at the School of Education, to commence the presentation of the honorary awards. I present the following candidates for the honorary awards of Bachelor of Education. John Lanson. Patrick Brennan. <laughs> Tony Aitken. Terence Atkinson. <laughs> Peter Bates. <laughs> Barbara Bates. Jeffrey Allen. Bridget Bailey. Alexander Mineko. <laughs> Colette Hayes. Marianne Anderson. <laughs> Gerald Cray. Jennifer Bell Chambers. <laughs> Anna.
Alan Baisley. Peter Bibby. <laughs> Wendy Bibby. Peter Booth. <laughs> Brendan Byrne. John Callahan. <laughs> Rosemary Callanan. Richard Carson. <laughs> William Carville. <laughs> Michael Gibson. Gerard Coburn. <laughs> Madeline Long. <laughs> Michael Comerford. Kevin Cook. <laughs> Anthony Crossley. <laughs> Patrick Curran. Francesco D'Agostino. <laughs> Anthony Dunn. <laughs> Gerard Eglerton. Michael M. <laughs> Brendan Fitzgerald. <laughs> Brendan.
Veronica Fitzgerald. Edward Forbes Jones. Barbara Ford. Michael Ford. Kevin Forster. Emmanuel Guillem. Peter Harvey. Brian Harding. John Harrison. Anne Hibbert. Patrick Heafy. Gwendolyn Mary Hickey. Barry Hickey. John Kevin Johnson. John Hooker. Vera Hawley. Timothy Horton Smith. Bernard Jarvis. John Jones. George Trevor Jones.
Leonard Jukes. Nicholas Keeley. Vincent Latin. Helena Pennington. Brendan Murphy. Margaret Long. Thomas Murphy. Ian Luke. Anthony Luscombe. Graham Marshment. Patrick McGonagall. James McPhillips. Michael McCabe. Frank McConnell. Thomas McGrath. Michael McNally. Barry O'Byrne. George Allen Norris. Marilyn O'Connor. Dennis O'Leary. <laughs> B. 
Peter Ormerod. Christopher O'Shaughnessy. Angela Patrick. Vienna check. <laughs> Michael Pioli. Walter Poulter. <laughs> Daniel Quinn. <laughs> Anthony Ridley. Christopher Rigg. <clears throat> Bernard Regan. Sankey. <laughs> Edmund Sankey. John Shikluna. <clears throat> Anthony Scurfield. Barry Sharples. <laughs> Margaret Sheeron. James Shields. <laughs> Frank Shipman. <laughs> Paul Smith.
Paulinus Joseph Timney. Spindler. Paul Stathers. David Stacy. Bernard Thompson. <clears throat> Howard Toon. Daniel Tranter. <clears throat> John Twart. William Vaughan. <laughs> David Relton. Michael Baron Walker. Bartholomew Walsh. <laughs> Catherine Mary Wheeler. John White. <laughs> Michael Walensky.
John Fai. Robert King. Humphrey Needle. Vice Chancellor, we are very pleased to welcome Peter Eggleston's family to graduation today and would be honoured for Peter's wife, Mary, to collect the award Bachelor of Education in Peter's memory. Vice Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of the honorary awards. I now invite Jane Chambers, Head of the School of Education and Faculty of Education, Theology and the Arts, to address the congregation. What an absolutely wonderful, wonderful afternoon. It couldn't be better, could it? Just beautiful on every level. Bishop Moss. Vice-Chancellor, our dignitaries, our wonderful families who are here today, and our incredible graduates, welcome back to St. Mary's. Thank you for coming and joining us this afternoon. Today, I'm sure, will have inspired many memories for each and every one of you. Um, becoming a teacher through your Sir Ed degrees I heard somebody say they've been teaching for 43 years. It's, it's incredible. It's wonderful to have so many people here today who have given so much to the profession of teaching. We do have people who are not present today, and if I may, I would just like to offer them a round of applause because they're with us, not in person, but in our memory. So, graduates, when you attended St. Mary's, it would have indeed been a much smaller establishment. It, St. Mary's has always been a close-knit, closely stitched together community. It would have been up until about the 1970s very small as we moved into that very long hot summer of 78 and in, into the early 80s. We were looking at a student number of just over 1,200 students. It was getting bigger all of the time. But that community, that social calendar, what do you remember? The Strawberry Fair, Rag Week, the Waldy down the road, morning ice buns in the ref, for me it was scones actually, Friday night discos, that Sunday night film club, and that Sunday night, it could not have been more special, could it, because of that six o'clock mass, which was brimming here in the chapel, led by our wonderful Vincentians. Of course, who can forget the Irish nights, that longed-for end of teaching practice, the hostels, 
old house, and of course, those glorious Christmas, perhaps end of year, summer balls that we used to have, hosted in the long gallery, which inevitably ended up on the priest's lawn, awash with taffeta, with silk, and with black ties and black jackets. They're wonderful, wonderful memories that I'm sure you all have. And indeed, having the privilege of sitting up the top here, I heard somebody, a couple say towards the end that they've been married, I think for 54 years, I think it was. Uh, that's an achievement in itself, I think. Um, but yes, many of those marriages and many of the christenings of children who we've had have taken place in this chapel. It's a chapel full of beautiful, exquisite, and lifelong memories. So, St. Mary's, it was a small teacher training college. Uh, today, it's um, still full of trainee teachers. We have a much bigger portfolio of courses which are on offer. Uh, we have business students, we have law students, we've got those studying in liberal arts. We have our theologians, our theology students, who often rub shoulders with our international athletes studying on sports degrees in the ref, and of course, we have so many postgraduates studying with us who are based all over the world. And I heard somebody say that they were from Gibraltar, and uh, it's a very warm welcome to people who have traveled overseas today as well. But of course, and back to you all, St. Mary's continues to be known as a very well-known and a very good, I'm um, not quite sure if you'd get this, but better than Digby, a very proud teacher training university. <laughs> If I was sat with you, I would be standing up applauding as well. So, yeah, we've all known a teacher who was trained at St. Mary's, and given that this year alone, we have currently 745 trainees out and about in schools or studying. They will become teachers over the course of this year and the next couple of years. St. Mary's continues to be a privileged and proud teacher training institution. But why do I mention that? One, I'm proud, but students on our programs were inspired to teach because of who they were taught by. And because of the differences great teachers, you, make. And we want to thank you again for coming back here today. Each of you as teachers have given the next generation the motivation to be caring, to be joyful, and to be expert teachers. Our trainees now, they're still required to go out on two school placements. It's currently 120 days. Next year, it's going to be 140. And perhaps it's your reflections on the inevitable teaching practice that we all look forward to that give you the greatest memories of both toil and strife and wonderment. Perhaps it was queuing, I did this, perhaps it was queuing for the band machine to create, to create those handouts, hoping to bring lesson plans to life that we all remember, or perhaps, and again, a bit like me, those lengthy and tipex-strewn handwritten lesson plans that we had to submit. But unlike today, what was then word processing was reading, up a, was reading up a quick handwritten lesson plan. The internet was something to do with the curtain and two poles, and mobile devices were what were they? I think they were the paper and the pens that we all still rely upon now. So as you return to St. Mary's today, and many of you have traveled many, many hundreds of miles to be here, you too may have been taken about through your commute over to St. Mary's of those train journeys when you were on placement to the many parts of London. I was reminded of going out to Dagenham, actually, that would have been rarely explored. And maybe just hanging up in your wardrobes are still those smart jackets, those collars and cuffs, and those smart skirts and trousers that you wore while you were on teaching, play, or teaching practice. And hang on to them. They're a part of a vintage look now, aren't they? <laughs> so thank you for returning to St. Mary's this afternoon. And family and friends who have joined, a special thank you to you too. And perhaps graduates, maybe you'd like to give your own family and friends a round of applause for taking you along the journey and being with you here today. graduates, you may never really fully appreciate, I don't think as teachers we do really, I don't think you ever really fully uh, appreciate the impact that your teaching careers have had on the many tens of thousands of children and young people who you have taught over the generations. Your work as teachers, 
you were role models, you are role models, as Sir, as Miss, as head teachers and, and as governors, have been immeasurable in supporting young people to deal with the careers, the technology and the wherewithal that we perhaps didn't even know existed when we were training to teach. And so as we close, for all of you here today from the many quarters of the United Kingdom, from Ireland, I think I heard Canada and definitely, definitely Gibraltar, it, we really do have to mention it's taken a rather long time to get that degree certificate, but you've got it. You have it and you have it taking home with you. I perhaps would like to finish with the words of an alumni who will be joining us later. I believe they're going to be in the five o'clock um, ceremony. She wrote to the alumni office and I thought this captured the words of training to teach at St. Mary's. I'm of the cohort 1976 to 79. I have to say that I count my days at St. Mary's as some of the best of my life, and it was there that I made some of my very best friends for my life too. That to me, she writes, is the privilege and shows how special an establishment St. Mary's is. I go back to where I started. You will perhaps have your own memories of why St. Mary's is special to you. You have been servants of education throughout your lives and you remain ambassadors of St. Mary's today. Please continue to encourage those who you know among your families and your wider connections to consider training to teach at St. Mary's. And as the Vice-Chancellor mentioned earlier on, looking ahead, next year is the 175th anniversary celebration of St. Mary's and we hope very much that you will return and join in the celebrations with us. But until then, St. Mary's University, St. Mary's College, St. Mary's Sumerians, welcome home. formal ceremony. Would you please stand for the departure of the platform party?
Welcome to the graduations for St. Mary's University. We are pleased that we were able to gather and celebrate the achievements of our graduates who are present here today. We shall commence the proceedings with a service of thanksgiving, which can be found at page eight of the graduation programme, following which there shall be the presentation of awards. I now invite Monsignor Roderick Strange to lead us in the service of thanksgiving. I don't really need to tell you what will be said by others far better than I can do it. Uh, what uh, a special occasion this is, as was the previous graduation ceremony, and as I'm sure the next one will be as well. It's a tremendous privilege for me to be able to lead you in prayer on this historic occasion. Shall we stand? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. we listen to the reading from the Book of Wisdom. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed and understanding was given me. I entreated and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. Compared with her, I held riches as nothing. I reckoned no precious stone to be her equal, but compared with her, all gold is a pinch of sand, and beside her, silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health or beauty, preferred her to the light, since her radiance never sleeps. In her company, all good things came to me, and at her hands, incalculable wealth. All these delighted me, since wisdom brings them, though I did not then realize that she was their mother. What I learned diligently, I shall pass on liberally. I shall not conceal how she is, for she is to human beings an, an inexhaustible treasure, and those who acquire this win God's friendship. Commended to him by the gifts of instruction, the word of the Lord. I ask you to stand as we say together the prayer that our Lord taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Lord God, your blessing reaches to the ends of the earth, and we ask you today to look favorably upon all who are present, that we may always enjoy searching for truth and take delight in new discoveries. Help us to share our knowledge with gentle patience and endeavor always to bring the truth to others. Confirm us in your renewing spirit that we may walk together with you and with one another. We thank you for the gifts of wisdom, knowledge, and friendship which we celebrate together. May everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your help, and reach perfection under your guidance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. And may Almighty God bless you Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I ask you to sit once more. Monsignor Strange, university colleagues, friends and family, graduates, welcome to this university graduation ceremony. All graduations are special occasions, but I have no hesitation in saying that this one and the others we're holding this afternoon are particularly so. I'm Anthony McLaren, and I have the honor to be Vice Chancellor of St. Mary's University. Today's spring graduation is an especially notable occasion for all of us present here, as this ceremony celebrates the award of Honorary Bachelor of Education. Our alumni present today graduated with a Certificate of Education, or Cert Ed, from St. Mary's College in the days before we held degree awarding powers. The Cert Ed is itself, of course, a highly significant and honorable qualification. But now, as St. Mary's University is in possession of the right to award degrees at every level in our own name, it's a tremendous honor for us to recognize your academic achievements and to celebrate your time studying and training as teachers with us all those years ago. This recognition has felt deeply appropriate to us, and I know from my correspondence with alumni to you. Nearly 800 Sumerians have asked for recognition of their previous studies with us, and nearly 400 of you are here during this afternoon's ceremonies to receive your degrees in person. We're proud to confer your Honorary Bachelor of Education degrees to you today. On behalf of all the staff, academic and professional at St. Mary's University, I'd like to offer our warmest congratulations to you, our graduates, receiving these honorary awards. Today's graduation is, of course, taking place in our university chapel, the chapel ambitiously modeled on Albi Cathedral with remarkable stained glass windows designed in sharp, was built in 1962. And for many of you, it will have been a familiar site throughout your time at St. Mary's. Indeed, some may remember it being built. Today, we're celebrating your success within this exceptional building. 
And while celebrating today, I'm sure you'll look back and reflect on not only your time at St Mary's, but on all that you have achieved since then. St Mary's has itself continued to develop and achieve in ways which I hope make you feel as proud of your alma mater as we are of you. University College status in 2006, full university status 2014, and in 2021, the recognition by the Privy Council of our research degree awarding powers. Let me also for a moment reflect on some of the notable more recent successes of the past year. Let me start with our excellent results in the Graduate Outcomes Survey, which told us that over 84% of our graduate leavers went into highly skilled employment or further study, outperforming both the London and the sector-wide national averages for this indicator. In the most recent National Student Survey, the NSS, the results of August 2023, the most recent ones, saw another very strong performance from St Mary's across all the scores, with undergraduates giving a positivity rating of 88% for teaching at St Mary's and 89% for academic support. That places us 11 among all universities nationally and second in London. Some of you may have seen the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide. The 2024 edition saw the university climb again another six places from 51st in 2023 to our highest ever position of 45th place nationally and 8th in London. The Times ranking places St Mary's 5th nationally for teaching quality and 7th for student experience and in the top two universities in London for both teaching quality and the wider student experience. Then finally, our excellent teaching excellence frameworks, framework TEF as it's known, outcomes, where we were awarded silver for student outcomes and gold for student experience. Those threads of excellent teaching, excellent student support run right through St Mary's from its earliest days to the present. And we're living up to that commitment that we feel as an institution to ensuring that our students have the best possible support and experience while they're with us here at St Mary's as the platform for the achievement so many of you uh, rightly uh, reflect on today. This year, St Mary's also celebrated the launch of our new undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in computer science and the launch of St Mary's Online, a global platform for our courses, and the first students for St Mary's Online have just begun their program. Phase two of our Student Heart Social Building is well on the way to completion, and later this year, we will embark on the construction of a brand new teaching block near the Sports Centre. No finer way, I think, to celebrate our impending centenary of moving to this site here at Strawberry Hill. And we continue to nurture and care for the historic heritage of this university. We are privileged to inherit and to look after for those who are going to follow on. Much restoration has gone on in the Waldgrave wing over the last year. Uh, we are in the process of working towards the restoration of the chapel in the woods across the piazza. And uh, although we have been splendidly led by our pianist today, You'll be pleased to know, I hope, that the university organ, the university chapel organ, uh, is being restored and will be returned to its full glory later in this year. Next year, there's going to be a particular focus for our celebrations because 2025 will mark the 175th anniversary of the foundation of St Mary's and the centenary, as I mentioned, of our move to Strawberry Hill in 1925. We're going to be holding celebrations throughout 2025, and we hope to see many of you back on campus. Please keep in touch with us and watch out for news. There will be many events throughout the year. From 1850 and the days of the Catholic Poor Schools Committee, which founded us, to the flourishing university of today, and looking forward into the future, our mission remains constant. For me, it's summed up by one of my favorite quotes from Pope Francis. 
education is always an act of hope. Once again, I offer my most sincere congratulations to everyone receiving an honorary Bachelor of Education degree today. And on behalf of all the staff here at St Mary's, I'd like to wish you a most enjoyable and memorable day. It's wonderful to have you all back with us. We now move to the formal part of the proceeding. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit all those present and in absentia to the awards listed in the probe. I now invite Annalise Borden, Professor of Education at the School of Education, to commence the presentation of the honorary awards. Vice-Chancellor, I present the following candidates for the honorary awards of Bachelor of Education. Christine Waters. Eileen Carey. John Dixon. Brian. John Eddie Gardner. Barbara Engar. Maria Vaughan. Gillian Argent. Maggie Atkinson. Paul Baker. Martin Baker. Angela Barnes. Sandra Barrett. Jane Beebe. Maureen Braithwaite.
Susan Coward. Joanne Butterfield. Mary Champion. Arlen Chichon. Henry Chichon. Madeline Chown. Andrew Collins. Moira Connolly. Cicely Cook. <laughs> Teresa Mary Cowan. Sheena Curry. <laughs> Teresa Daly. <laughs> Robert Dacey. Bernadette Devlin. Andrew Diedo. Patricia Dodds. <laughs> Catherine Donahue. Gregory Donahue. <laughs> David Dorgan. Maureen Doyle. <laughs> 
David Driscoll. Claire Driscoll. Terence Eames. Josephine Celia Eames. William Edwards. Joan Edwards. <laughs> Lena Quinnell. <laughs> David Evans. Evans. <laughs> Susan Everson. <laughs> Frank Fay. Rita Fanning. <laughs> Dennis Field. Catherine Fozard. <laughs> Morris Gash. Kevin Gallagher. <laughs> Angela Sansom. John Gore. <laughs> Margaret Graham. <laughs> Michael Greenwood. Peter Grundy. <laughs> Susan Hanrahan. <laughs> Celia.
Olivia Harding. Patricia Hart. Lynn Hoare. Catherine Stamp. Martin Stamp. Bernard Kelly. George Hall. John Horsley. Claire Bonham. <laughs> Maria Kachmarek. Michael Kay. Peter Kelly. Anthony Kemp. Brendan Lally. <laughs> David Lawrenson. <laughs> Chris Lindsay. George Lubomsky. <laughs> David Maloney. <laughs> Margaret Massignac. Stephen Marciniak. <laughs> Charles McCann. <laughs> K. 
Kevin McHale. Maria McLaughlin. Eileen McNulty. Margaret Morgan. Michael Monaghan. Susan Monaghan. Patrick Moynihan. <laughs> Cloda McGuin. Patrick O'Shea. <laughs> Pamela Page. <laughs> Brendan O'Sullivan. Angela Pavitt. <laughs> Edward Pierce. <laughs> Carol Peffers. Mary Raspin. <laughs> Patricia Reed Wilson. Gareth Edward Rees. <laughs> Bernard Rees. <laughs> Rosemary Rehill. David Rogers. <laughs> David Rose.
Colette Rose. Margaret Routledge. <laughs> Margaret Mary Roylance. Linda Shutt. Adrian Simpson. Kathleen Smith. <laughs> John Stockwell. Anthony Toomey. Anthony Walsh. Paul Warburton. <laughs> Terence White. Gillian Williams. Roger Wright. Angela Wynne. Elizabeth Yates. <laughs> Alfred Yates. Richard Yeomanson. <laughs> Joseph Zeba. Vice Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of the honorary awards. I now invite Jane Chambers, head of the School of Education, Faculty of Education, Theology and the Arts, to address the congregation.
goodness me, St. Mary's is so important, isn't it? Just seeing how many people are here today, the distance people have traveled, whether you've come locally, you've come from Australia, you've come from Florida, you've come from Gibraltar, you are so welcome back to St. Mary's this afternoon. Monsignor, Vice Chancellor, colleagues and guests, it's a very warm welcome to all of you families, friends, loved ones of our graduating colleagues here today who are being awarded their Bachelor of Education degrees. We're all immensely proud of you and thank you very much for joining us. Today may be an occasion that brings back memories for you. Memories of being a student and training to be a teacher. Looking glorious in your blue and white hooded gowns today, an opportunity to reflect upon what it was to be a student at St. Mary's. When you were here, St. Mary's was a much smaller institution, but no less important, and every bit the close-knit community that we have here today. About the 1980s, we would have been looking at about 1,200 students here. So very much smaller, as I say, than what we have here now. But that closed community of students, their social calendars, what's your memory of your social calendar? Was it made up of that strawberry fair? Rag week, perhaps. They were great fun, weren't they? The Waldy. Going down the ref after that nine o'clock lecture in the morning and having your coffee, your ice burn, or for me, it was one of the homemade scones that they used to make in the ref. Was it the Friday night discos? Sunday night film club? Most of all, mass here on a Sunday evening at six o'clock, which was so beautifully brought together by a Vincentian priests, and it was a point of gathering during the week when we all came together. They were unforgettable evenings. There were the Irish nights, the, lo the much longed for end of teaching practice evenings, the hostels, old house, and of course, who couldn't but enjoy the balls that we had at Christmas, that we had at the end of year, they were hosted in the long gallery, and inevitably we all ended up out on the priest's lawn wearing taffeta, I believe you're a woman, and black ties. It was a wonderful, wonderful occasion. Wonderful memories, yes. Lots of them have continued in this chapel. There are so many couples here today, and I'm sure there are many more who weren't able to join us. It's a busy chapel today, and it's been a busy chapel for life events as we've moved through marriage, having children, or just coming back to St. Mary's to enjoy being here. When you were here, St. Mary's would have been mainly made up of students who were training to be teachers. And today, we're a much bigger institution, and it's thankful to you as teachers that we've been able to be so. St. Mary's today is made up of students studying for a range of degrees, including business, business studies, in law, in liberal arts. Theology students rub shoulders with international athletes in the, doing our sports degrees. And we have so many postgraduate students who are studying with us here and also overseas as well. But of course, and back to you most importantly, well, St. Mary's continues to be known as a very well-known and a very good, better than Digby, I would perhaps suggest to you, very proud teacher training, university we all are. And we all know, well, we're all in here, but we all know a teacher who was trained at St. Mary's. And as of today, this academic year, we have currently in the order of about 745 students who are training to teach and become that next generation of teachers. Students on our programs have been inspired to teach. And why is that? Because they were taught by brilliant teachers. Great teachers, many of whom are with us today, who have been with us in the previous ceremony and who will be joining us later today. But what you have offered that next generation of young people is the motivation to be caring, to be joyful, and to be an expert teacher and we thank you for that. 
Back to today, our trainees are still required to go out on two school placements. It's 120 days as of this year. Next year, it will be 140 days that they're required to do. And it's perhaps your reflections on your inevitable teaching practice that you had to do that might give you the greatest memories of toil and strife and perhaps also just the wonderfulness of becoming a teacher. I know certainly for me, it was perhaps queuing for the Banda machine to create those wonderful handouts that brought lessons to life. And again, maybe it was those rather lengthy and handwritten but typex strewn lesson plans that we all had to produce. Unlike today, word processing, perhaps when we were training, was reading up a quick handwritten lesson plan. The internet was something to do with the curtain between two poles. And mobile devices, mm -mm, no, it was big pens and reams of paper that we were dealing with. As you return to St. Mary's, and many of you, as I've mentioned at the start, have traveled many hundreds, indeed thousands, of miles to be here, you may have been taken back to those journeys that you had to do while you were on teaching practice. It may have been far, those long journeys, perhaps out to Dagenham or perhaps up to the north of London or the southeast of London, but areas that we had rarely explored. It may be that you've still got in your cupboards those wonderful smart jackets, those lovely collared and cuffs outfits that we had to wear as part of our teaching practice. And I hope that you've still got them because as uh, we all know, they're quite a vintage look now. And so, thank you for returning to St. Mary's this afternoon. And if I may, I would like to suggest that we all give the guests here today, the family and friends who have accompanied you along the way, and in particular those people who haven't been able to attend today for various reasons, a round of applause to remember them and thank them. You may never fully appreciate the impact your teaching careers have had on the many tens of thousands of children and young people that you have taught over the generation. Your work as teachers, your continued role as a role model, being sir, being miss, being the head teacher that you are, if that's what you strove to be, being a governor perhaps, have had an immeasurable impact on supporting young people to, do with the, to deal with the careers and technology that we, when we were training, perhaps never knew existed. And so as we close, for all of you here today, from the many quarters of the British Isles and much further beyond, as I mentioned, from America, from Australia, it has to, it can't really go unnoticed, has it? It's taken a long time to get your degrees, but we're here and we're enjoying being together and returning to St. Mary's. I want to perhaps finish with a quote from a Sumerian who will be in the five o'clock ceremony, actually. She wrote to the alumni office, and I feel that this perhaps captured the essence of what it was to study at St. Mary's. She wrote, I am of the cohort 1976 to 79. I have to say that I count my days at St. Mary's as some of the best of my life, and it was there that I made some of my very best friends for life too. That to me, she writes, is a privilege and shows how very special an establishment St. Mary's is. You've all been servants of education throughout your lives, and it's needless to say you remain ambassadors of St. Mary's today, so please continue to encourage those you know among your family and your wider connections that training to teach at St. Mary's is the very best possible choice that they can make. Looking ahead then, and as the Vice-Chancellor mentioned at the beginning of today's ceremony, next, next year, 2025, we'll be celebrating the 175th anniversary of St. Mary's and we would very much like for as many of you to come back and join us in any of the many number of celebrations that are taking place. But graduates, until then, St. Mary's University, St. Mary's College, St. Mary's, St. Mary's, welcome home.
concludes the formal ceremony. Would you please stand for the departure of the platform party?
Welcome to the graduations for St. Mary's University. We are pleased that we are able to gather and celebrate the achievements of our graduates who are present here today. We shall commence the proceedings with a service of thanksgiving, which can be found at page eight of the graduation program, following which there shall be the presentation of awards. I now invite Monsignor Roderick Strange to lead us in a service of thanksgiving. Others will say this more formally, but I am very conscious of what a historic occasion this is, this ceremony and the two that have preceded it. And I feel very honored to be able to lead you in prayer on this wonderfully moving and historic occasion. Could we stand? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. you to sit as we listen to the scripture reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed and understanding was given me. I entreated and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than scepters and thrones. Compared with her I held riches as nothing. I reckoned no precious stone to be her equal, for compared with her, all gold is a pinch of sand, and beside her, silver ranks as mud. I loved her more than health or beauty, preferred her to the light, since her radiance never sleeps. In her company, all good things came to me, and at her hands, incalculable wealth. All these delighted me, since wisdom brings them, though I did not then realize that she was their mother. What I learned diligently, I shall pass on liberally. I shall not conceal how she is, for she is to human beings an inexhaustible treasure, and those who, acqu who acquire this win God's friendship, commended to him by the gifts of instruction. The word of the Lord. You, Lord. I invite you to stand once more to 
as we say together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, your blessing reaches to the ends of the earth, and we ask you today to look favorably upon all who are present, that we may always enjoy searching for truth and take delight in new discoveries. Help us to share our knowledge with gentle patience and endeavor always to bring the truth to others. Confirm us in your renewing spirit that we may walk together with you and with one another. We thank you for the gifts of wisdom, knowledge, and friendship which we celebrate together. May everything we do begin with your inspiration, continue with your help, and reach perfection under your guidance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I invite you to sit once more. My Lord, university colleagues, friends and family, graduates. My name is Simeon Dagas and I'm the Provost and Chief Academic Officer here at St. Mary's University. I would like to welcome you to this university graduation ceremony. Today's spring graduation is an especially notable occasion for all of us present here. As this ceremony celebrates the award of Honorary Bachelor of Education degrees. Our alumni, present today, graduated with a Certificate of Education, or Cert Ed, from St. Mary's College in the days before we held degree awarding powers. The Cert Ed itself, of course, a highly significant and honorable qualification. But now, as St. Mary's University, and in possession of the right to award degrees at every level in our own name, it is a tremendous honor for us to recognize your academic achievements and to celebrate your time studying and training as teachers with us all of these years ago. On behalf of all the staff here at St. Mary's University, I would like to offer our warmest congratulations to you. St. Mary's has itself continued to develop and achieve in ways which I hope make you feel very proud. With university college status in 2006, full university in 2014, and in 2021, the recognition by the Privy Council of our research degree awarding powers. So please, let me reflect for a moment on notable successes of the past year. Let me start with our excellent results in the Graduate Outcome Survey published last year, which told us that over 84% of our graduate leavers went into highly skilled employment or further study, outperforming both the London and sector-wide averages for this indicator. In the most recent National Student Survey, the results of August 2023 saw another very strong performance in the scores with undergraduates giving a positive rating of 88% for teaching at St. Mary's and 89% for academic support. 
that actually places St. Mary's as 11th amongst all universities nationally and second in London. The Times and the Sunday Times Good University Guide 2024 saw the university climb another six places from 51st in 2023 to our highest ever position or 45th place nationally and 8th in London. The Times ranking places St. Mary's 5th nationally for teaching quality and 7th for student experience. And in the top two universities in London for both teaching quality and the wider student experience. And finally, our excellent Teaching Excellence Framework Outcomes with silver for student outcomes and a gold for student experience. This year, we also celebrated the launch of our new undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in computer science and the launch of St. Mary's Online, a global platform for our courses. The first students actually have just begun their programs. Phase two of our student heart building is well on the way to completion and later this year, we will embark on the construction of a brand new teaching block near the sports center. Next year, there will be a particular focus for our celebrations. 2025 will mark the 175th anniversary of the foundation of St. Mary's and the centenary of our move to Strawberry Hill in 1925. We will hold celebrations throughout 2025 and we really hope to see many of you back here on campus. From 1850 and the days of the Catholic Poor Schools Committee who founded us, to the flourishing university of today, and looking forward into the future, our mission remains constant. For me, it is summed up by, it is summed up by one of my favorite quotes from Pope Francis. Education is always an act of hope. Once again, I offer my most sincere congratulations to everyone receiving an honorary Bachelor of Education today. On behalf of all the staff here at St. Mary's, I would like to wish you a most enjoyable and memorable day. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit all those present and in absentia to the awards listed in the program. I now invite Annalise Gordon, Professor of Education at the School of Education, to commence the presentation of the honorary awards. Provost, I present the following candidates for the honorary awards of Bachelor of Education. Bernadette Alexandru. Susan Adams. <laughs> Patricia Agnew. <laughs> Giovanni Allodi. Kevin Allwright. <laughs> Irene Allwright. <laughs> Charmaine Bartlett Barfoot. Geraldine Bailey. <laughs> Mary Horn. <laughs> K. 
Kev Bell. <laughs> Catherine Veronica Buller. <laughs> Susan Blacklock. Maria Blan. Marion Booth. John Booth. Ruth Bowring. <laughs> Maureen Brennan. <laughs> Margaret Brickle. Mary Buchmann. <laughs> Helen Carey. <laughs> Peter Kahn. Margaret Cheesemond. <laughs> Anne Clark. <laughs> Nula Courtney Diggins. Hilary Croker. <laughs> Edward Shanuska. <laughs> Peter Dando. Linda Davidson. <laughs> Michael Davies. <laughs> Rosemary Davis. Michael Rooney. <laughs> Francis Doherty. Patrick Doherty. <laughs> Anne Donnelly. Jeremy Donnelly. <laughs> D. 
Dennis Donovan. Geraldine Durkin. Eamon Eustace. Terence Finn. Deirdre Edwards, <laughs> David Foley, <laughs> Mary Fleming, <laughs> Desmond Foxen. Moira Franks. <laughs> William Franz. <laughs> Christopher Gardiner. Timothy Gibbons. <laughs> Paul Gillam. <laughs> Bridget Ginty. Francis Godfrey. <laughs> Liam Grundy. <laughs> David Gully. Roseline Gunning. <laughs> Helen Halewood. <laughs> Bridget Hansen. Higgs, <laughs> Ruth Holden, <laughs> Patricia Hindley. Ninia James. Jean Jasper. Mary Jennings. Peter Keane. <laughs> Maureen Kelly. <laughs> Margaret Kieran. Vincent Knight. <laughs> Ed.
Elizabeth Kieran. Sheila Knights. Anna Koratsitis. Edward Kuczynski. Lorraine Lally. Kevin Lawler. Catherine Leslie. Catherine Leslie. <laughs> Victoria Lindsay. <laughs> Wendy Parker. Frank Maguire. Angela Maloney. Maggie Mansfield. Philomena Manton. <laughs> Susan Morezo. <laughs> Mary McDonough. Neil McDonough. <laughs> Marion McGarrell. <laughs> James McGarry. Peter McGuigan. <laughs> Kathleen McGuinness. <laughs> Melanie Meller. Angela Micolay. <laughs> Frida Gagan. <laughs> John Molyneux. Mary Morris. Christine Murphy.
Issa Nagla Taylor. Anne Chandler. Mary Newsham. Paul Nolan. Damien O'Byrne. Dermot O'Brien. Walter Leonard. Josephine O'Regan. Annette Bartlett. Mary Cornwell. Maureen O'Sullivan. Nora Palmer. Mary Peters. Catherine Phillips. Mary Phillips. Richard Phillips. Eileen Pinkadevsky. Robert Plourd. Franco Podlesny. Michael Powell. Joseph Quigley. Helen Quigley. Patricia Smith. Francis Rees. John Riley. Jane Ann Riley. Caroline Ruby.
Susan Robertson. Anne Scanlon. Lena Scholes. Eileen Shiakaluga. Sharon Sesnan. Paul Sesnan. Melanie Sewell. David Shannon Little. Roy Shepherd Thorne. Mary Sherlock. Patricia Shields. Anne Farrell. Leonie Smith. Margaret Staunton. Kevin Smith. <laughs> Helen Street. <laughs> Sharon Mealhone. Margaret Sullivan. Patrick Swanson. Gerard Thompson. Greg Thompson. <laughs> Louise Polakowski. <laughs> Tony Tyndale. John Wentworth. Adrian Wilson. Caroline Willis. Helena Wilson. Helena. 
Patrick Wilson. <laughs> Margaret Wishart. Gerard, Gerard Whitty. Anthony Whitty. Sally Obertel. <laughs> Zelma Ferreira. <laughs> Peter Kennedy. John O'Connor. <laughs> Provost, this concludes the presentation of the honorary awards. I now invite Jane Chambers, Head of the School of Education, Faculty of Education, Theology and the Arts, to address the congregation. Well, I, I think we've kind of left the best to last, haven't we? It's just been such a pleasure to see so many of our graduates from the Bachelor of Education Award here today. It's it's joyous in every way and to see so many people loving each other's company and wanting to be back at St. Mary's and joining us today. We've had people travel from Australia, we've had people travel from Florida, we've had several people for, travel over from Gibraltar and of course then we've had Ireland and the many quarters of the United Kingdom. Welcome back, welcome back to St. Mary's. I'm guessing, I'm assuming that for you today, it's as much about enjoying one another's company, but it's about the memories of being at St. Mary's, about training to teach at St. Mary's College as it was then. And we've got many special memories about being here at St. Mary's when it was a much smaller institution than it is today, but no less a very close and a very community-minded university as we are now but a close-knit community as you were then. I wonder what your memories of St Mary's are. Uh, what was your social calendar like while you were training to be a teacher? <laughs> Just only share things that you want to. Please. Uh, perhaps it was the Strawberry Fair, maybe it was Rag Week, that was great wasn't it? The Waldy, going down to the Waldy. Was it after that first lecture in the morning, going down to the ref and picking up the ice buns? I know certainly for me it was around having the scones with coffee and that was a real highlight of the day. Perhaps it was the Friday night discos that you really enjoyed. Perhaps it was the Sunday night film club after you'd all been to the six o'clock six mass here in the chapel. And wasn't that a wonderful occasion in the week? Wasn't that a highlight of the week when we all used to come together on a Sunday evening here at six o'clock to celebrate mass with the wonderful priests who we had the pleasure of studying alongside and being part of their community. It's wonderful memories and what's more, I'm sure that this chapel, having heard the list of people who have gone through today, uh, probably may have either got married here or indeed got married further afield. It's so wonderful to see the chapel being used for so many reasons. It may not have been a marriage, it might have been a christening, or it may indeed be somewhere that you enjoy coming back to to celebrate Mass. So today our university, it's 
full of students who are studying on many, many different types of degrees compared to that, what it would have been when you were at at St Mary's College when it would have been brimming with our trainee teachers. Today we have many students who were studying for business studies for example, we've got many students who are studying in law, in liberal arts, our theologians and our theology students often rub sh shoulders with the many athletes, many international athletes who are studying on our sports degrees and no less we have high numbers of postgraduate students who are studying with us here either on campus or online based all over the world. But of course, and back to you is the most important. St Mary's continues to be, proudly continues to be, a very well known teacher training institution. It was when you were as well, and I think we'd all agree that we were better than Digby. <laughs> we all know we all know somebody who was trained as a teacher at St Mary's and that continues this year alone this year alone we have over 745 trainee teachers who were looking to begin their career as an early career teacher in September or in the following two academic years why does that matter why does it matter today because students who chose St Mary's to teach and those who chose to teach were inspired to do so. They were inspired to teach because of who they were taught by. And they were inspired because of the difference that great teachers make. And that comes back to you. Each of you as a teacher have given yourselves as role models, whether that be as sir, miss, as a head teacher or as a governor. But what you have done is that you have paved the way to supporting young people to, do, to deal with the careers and technology that we, when we were training, didn't even know existed. And so, as we look further afield to the many quarters of the world from which we have traveled, I just want to reflect momentarily on that experience of teaching practice. Today we still have to do the two school experiences. We have 120 days, which we ask our trainees to do this year. Next academic year, it will be 140 days that they have to do out on placement. And perhaps it's being out on placement that gives you the greatest set of memories, whether that be the toil and strife of going out on teaching practice, or perhaps your best memories of actually teaching with children. For me, it was perhaps queuing for the band of machines to create those handouts, hoping to bring lesson plans to life. We all remember it, don't we? We all remember those band of machines. It could have been those lengthy, tipex strewn, handwritten lesson plans that we all had to produce. But unlike today, word processing was a thing, well, what was that? That was a handwritten lesson plan. The internet, well, that could have been something that was hung up between two curtain poles. And mobile devices, well, it was to do with big pens and reams of paper. I'm sure that many of you have still got those very smart jackets. You've got those very smart collars and cuffs and shirts and trousers hanging up in your wardrobe from your days of being a trainee teacher. And to help you along your way, whether you were training then or whether it's about enabling to get, to get here today, I think it's an opportunity to thank all of our guests who are with us and give them a round of applause for enabling you graduates to be here. I did want to just take a moment to make um, a special mem uh, mention to one of our graduates who would have been here today, but however sadly passed away in January of this year. Her name is Viv Evans. She was part of the 1974 to 77 cohort. She's greatly missed not only by the cohort, but also by her family. And it was something that she did want to do was to attend today. So our thoughts are with the cohort, with her family, and of course her. Graduates, teachers, you may never fully appreciate the impact your teaching career has had on the tens of thousands of children and young people who you have taught over the many, many years that your career has embraced. 
It's taken a while for this degree to come, hasn't it, to you? And it might be, actually, that you're looking more to the end of your career now. But we're here today, and it's a day to enjoy and to celebrate. But where I wanted to finish is in the words of a Sumerian, who is indeed here in the room today, the chapel today, I beg your pardon. And she wrote to the alumni office, and I think her words perhaps capture the absolute essence of training to teach and being a student at St. Mary's. We've seen it on the faces today. I'm of the cohort 1976 to 79, and I have to say that I count my days at St. Mary's as some of the best of my life, and it has been there that I have made my very best of friends who have been with me for all of my life. That to me is a privilege and shows how special an establishment St. Mary's is. You have been servants of education throughout your lives and you remain ambassadors of St. Mary's today. So please continue to encourage those who you know among your families and your wider connections and networks to consider training to teach here at St. Mary's. Looking to the future, the Provost mentioned um, at the beginning of today's ceremony about the 175th anniversary celebrations which are taking place in 2025. There's many and plentiful which will be taking place, so please do come and join us. We would love to see you back here in the chapel and further afield on the campus. But for now and until we meet again, thank you for coming this afternoon. Thank you for celebrating and bring, bringing such joy to this celebration. But until we meet again, St. Mary's University, St. Mary's College, St. Mary's, and you Sumerians, welcome home. concludes the formal ceremony. Would you please stand for the departure of the platform party?